I want to welcome everyone again today to a, another short video of Creo Parametric. In this short video, we're going to look at how to find help within Creo. So the first question would be, if you don't know where the command is at in Creo, how do you find it? In the upper right, there's a little icon that looks like a magnifying glass called the command search. This allows you to find the command as you type a command, and what it'll do is cycle through various commands. And you can highlight the command just by mousing over it, and it'll show you what tab and what part of the actual ribbon that command is located on. Or you can just double click the command and it'll execute or start that command itself. A very ingenious way to find those commands within Creo Parametric. Now I'm using extrude as an example, this command uh, within Creo Parametric. And let's say you want to find more information about this command. How do you use the command? Well, you could use the question mark in the upper right, which is the Creo Parametric help tool. It'll launch the parametric help window. And in the search box, you can type the actual command or a string of characters for whatever you're looking for. Click search, and it'll return information on whatever you're searching for. And I can scroll through and select a topic. In this case, how do you create the extrude, uh, in this case, surface? And it'll go through step by step, telling you the icons to click, explaining the options within the icon to create something using this tool or this command you're searching for. But let's say you want to find a little more interactive information about how to use this command. Well, you could use the other icon in the upper right called the Learning Connector. Now, this is a separate add-in which does require a separate login. But what it'll do is open a separate window outside of Creo Parametric that's interactive with whatever you do in Creo Parametric. So once you, once you start the command in Creo Parametric, and then you log into the eLearning connector, what it will do is update interactively and show you several things. One, a video, which you can play a video of how to use the command. Two, it'll show you learning topics. I can look at the Help Center, which I just looked at, or knowledge base articles. And as you click on any one of these links, what they'll actually do is open another window displaying information for whatever link you're clicking on. In this case, I clicked how to create a solid feature uh, from the extrude tool. It's going to show me information for a lecture or a demonstration of a video and procedural step by step by steps of whatever you want to choose. So a variety of ways you can actually look at this information uh, and obtain help on the extrude tool. Uh, and just kind of to show another example, I'll go to another command, sketch, and the learning connector on the right will update showing me very similar information on Sketch. So Creo has a variety of ways to help you, to assist you, not only to find the command within the Creo interface, the ribbon across the top, but also assist you with using that command and using the functions within that command. Again, uh, very intuitive, very, uh, very uh, a variety of ways, if you will, to look at, uh, look and search for help within Creo. Thank you.